Hello, this is Shobha Mathur. Welcome to ET Auto Month in Review. We are here to analyze the sales results of April 2017, which have just come in. I've got with me here Nabil e Khan, the editor of ET Auto. Going by the results, the PV sector, the passenger vehicles have done very well, but the two-wheeler and commercial vehicles have not done too well. A few factors that is very important to note here. In passenger vehicle segment, there has been a lot of new launches that we have seen in the past months. Apart from that, some of the manufacturers have increased their production also, so key players like Maruti Suzuki. So these things have added. Apart from that, if you look at the BS3 ban, it was not an impact on passenger vehicle because these guys have already moved to VS4 much much ago. So looking at the two-wheeler segment if uh, mainly the negative sales has been reported because of the ban on BS3 which prompted you know pre-buying a lot of pre-buying in the last uh, two three days of uh, you know March you have seen a lot of uh, one of the record sales at all the dealership you have seen huge line that has really added uh, to the decline of uh, two-wheeler sales when it comes to commercial vehicle obviously the economic activities as well as infrastructure plus you know there has been pre-buying in that segment also because of BS4 there was a huge you know price gap expected from the fleet owners Surprisingly, one of the leading two-wheeler manufacturers, Hero Motor Corp, has uh, registered a 3.49% degrowth. And even uh, in commercial vehicles, Volvo, Aisha, commercial vehicles, and even Tata Motors uh, have not done too well. So, so if you look at Hero Motor Corp, I think they had the highest inventory of BS3, you know, vehicles. So they had to, you know, uh, sell those vehicles. So those vehicles were sold at huge discount. Any buyers who 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 was planning to buy next month or a month after, they went in and bought because they got a sweet deal. Uh, discounts up to twenty five percent, thirty percent. You know, so that's been the reason. But uh, look at the next April month is not the right indicator for the. Uh, industry two-wheeler industry because I had said in previous articles also that you know a two-wheeler segment is going to see some kind of decline for a month or two but uh, next month onward I think things will improve because uh, the impact of pre-buying may go so would the uh, Tata Motors also be seeing a recovery in commercial vehicles now so in commercial vehicle uh, the thing is totally different uh, you see the the commercial vehicle segment runs on various parameters first uh, you have to look at the economic activity you have to look at this infrastructure you know what is happening you have to look at the real estate uh, you know sector so overall economic activity how it is improving uh, that is uh, you know the indicator for commercial vehicle looking at the current scenario you cannot see much of a growth until GST comes and then we will see how things pan out only after June July you can see some kind of better situation coming up for commercial vehicle so how much do you think GST is going to impact the automotive industry? Looking at tax regime that is going to come, it is still not clear. Uh, but uh, what the most uh, impacted area in uh, uh, GST will be small passenger vehicle segment, where because the t uh, the t uh, looking at the tax regime that we are expecting to come. However, it will uh, have uh, multiple positive impact as well when it comes to ease of doing business in terms of uh, you know uh, comfort to the industry so it will have positive overall positive impact but if you look at cost structure or price to go down I, I wonder if there is going to be any coming to the passenger vehicle segment we've got Maruti Suzuki the market leader they're just about to launch the new desire so how much do you think is going to uh, increase the sales for the compact car segment for them? That has been one of the biggest uh, seller for them and uh, with desires uh, popularity waning out because of the model getting old. Now they have brought in refresh. It will certainly expand the segment itself. Also it will give a lot of additional number to Maruti. Apart from that, uh, Bellino, you look at the Bellino, they had a lot of uh, production constraint. Now they are increasing production further they expect to produce around 10,000 units from Gujarat plant so f going forward the days for Maruti Suzuki is looking much stronger coming to the second uh, biggest uh, manufacturer car manufacturers on their motor India uh, the exports I mean surprisingly the exports are showing a decline in April so that's the obvious reason because uh, Hyundai Motor India doesn't have 
you know one of the core reason i can say that because uh, they do not have enough capacity to meet the local demand so they are focusing on local market currently and they have shifted some of the uh, products for export to other markets like uh, turkey and other manufacturing plants so that's the obvious reason though so their first focus is to sustain indian market so for that they need to have capacity they are trying to build new capacity then probably they will push in for exports right now their focus is domestic that's why but uh, even uh, coming you know, taking a look at uh, some of the passenger vehicle sales results Hyundai Motor India is one of the lowest in terms of growth during so April. So there's obvious uh, reason, you know, they are high sellers like uh, i10 Grand and uh, uh, look at Creta. They have got a hit after Brisa as well as, you know, Ignis coming in. So that's uh, the reason because of the volume uh, going down. So, and ap apart from that, there, you know, uh, production constant still remains a question for them. So that's why I think they are delaying, they, they, they had to bring uh, some new product which they have delayed. So now compact SUV coming in, I think things look up for them also. Uh, coming to another car manufacturer, Honda Cars India, that's done pretty well, 38.1% growth. So if you look at their time when they entered into this diesel, you know, engine with Amaze and City, so they had similar kind of, you know, spurt in their sales, you know, but then they failed to sustain because of the policy change that happened in India. So diesel versus petrol suddenly changed. Uh, for now, what uh, happened that they have brought a brilliant product with WRB, so it uh, has become a uh, very uh, you know popular because of uh, a price point and the feature they have uh, offered especially you know sunroof uh, you know that that and plus this is uh, SUV uh, looking car you can say so that these two points have really helped them you know grow their number then secondly you know uh, Honda City uh, that was one of the uh, most popular car in that segment that has also got increased number these two factors have helped them you know plus they had a, a small base so it will always look you know the high growth but uh, these two products have also probably helped them increase sales of other product because once the footfall increases you know there could be possible that other models also start moving faster since you mentioned exports i would like to ask you i mean how do you see the outlook uh, is it going to do better than uh, last financial year? Some markets where India was exporting like uh, oil driven economy which was not doing good. So it will depend on how the crude price move. So if the crude price go up, you know, so there will be a market for overall uh, passenger vehicle or LCB or any. Because we were uh, exporting to African countries. We uh, were exporting to other you know oil driven economies so and europe europe is not doing so well so but now it is uh, picking up so in the one corner you can expect a growth but uh, uh, it will also depend on uh, you know how the crude is faring in the global market so one last question um, since the prices the uh, vehicle manufacturers have started in increasing the prices of the products uh, post the uh, bs4 uh, emission norms coming into force so do you see a little uh, dip in the market? So it will not have uh, much of impact because uh, Indian buyers have changed, you know. You see, there was a time when you, a car did not have even an AC. Now today, if you, d you look at the, some of the car that has done phenomenally well, uh, despite having a little extra cost, you know. So people are looking for products and features. So they don't mind paying few thousands extra, uh, but uh, it will not have much impact on uh, you know number of sales in terms of uh, you know vehicles cars or uh, two wheeler uh, secondly what happens you know the uh, material cost raw material cost has slightly increased in the last uh, uh, few months if you look at hr steels etc they have gone up that uh, has you know forced uh, you know the car makers to pass on uh, to the customers but I don't see much of an impact. Uh, looking at all these factors, that's why I've been a little conservative. I don't expect the passenger vehicle market to grow uh, beyond 10% in this financial year. Thank you, uh, Nabil, uh, for sparing some of your time. Thanks. Thank you.